The first step is identifying the residents and their needs. The second step, because like I said, I have a different of residents, some are verbal, some are nonverbal. With the nonverbal ones, it's best to go to their family, and the family will tell you exactly the music that you know the family, these people want. But what I did when I first started with the iPods, I had a portable radio, because I had to see myself do these people respond to this music before I put it on an iPod. So once I put it in the room, and I seen a little response from them, that's when I started with the iPod. Because with Alzheimer's, you can't just come and put a headphone on an Alzheimer's patient. You have to kind of work them up to it, work them up to the music. And after that, you start maybe once a week for 10 minutes. Then you, you move on twice a week for 10 minutes in the morning. You don't, you don't put it on for the morning and the afternoon because, you, like I said, you have to get them used to having these headphones on their ears. And then after that, as you see their behavior and you see their response, you gradually continue, gradually continue, and that's how it works. <laughs> Great.